Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I am the Bar Lord, and this is Fire Emblem, Dark Dragon of Blade of Light, where we left off last time. We made it through Ghoul's Teeth, recruit- Read it out of I was doing so well. We recruited a very edgy boy, and we have successfully off-cam, uh, power grinded the fuck out of Lino, so she is level 20 now. Uh, which does jack shit, because healers basically get no level ups in this game. So now it's just time to kill this one dude with a hand axe. Not exactly the greatest threat of all time. Get him, Ogma. Okay. You maybe could have done a little bit better, but that's fine. It's okay, buddy. I still love you. You're still one of the goaded units in this game. Don't worry about it too much. Uh, Gordon, can you try and kill this guy without getting killed yourself? Steel Bow, you have every advantage here. He's on a castle tile, I'll give you that much. Alright, Marth, can you finish him off? Let's get you powered up, buddy. You are the Lord character. Five damage. Alright, Marth, can you crit or something? Oh, come on, man. You're better than this, Marth. Okay, uh... You know, I don't even think, like, maybe Sheeta? But, sorry, Sheeta. I don't think she's really in range, though, to properly attack him. So instead... Navar, how about you, buddy? Let's do this. You... Are you Kane or are you Abel? You're Kane. Okay, we'll put you on a flank here, just in case I want to power you up instead. Or maybe even Julian, who knows. I'm going wacky, apparently. Trying to power up a fucking thief in this game. <laughs> Who will he go for? Gordon? Probably Moth. Yep. I'm pretty sure all characters have an inherent- like, all enemies have a specific coding to go for Marth if they can. Like, they almost always will try and attack Marth above anything else. And that. Else. <laughs> Alright. Well, first off, I want Gordon to try and take his shot. Do it, Gordon. For the lols. Do it. You son of a bitch. Come on, man. Navar. Okay, your hit points are pretty good, so we'll have you do it. Navar, it probably will get him. Or not. Crit? Nope. Okay. This actually brings to mind what I said earlier. I can't believe I'm try I'm gonna try this. Julian, I believe in you. You got this. Speed walk. Oh my god. Well, Julian's, uh... Julian actually got a kill. That's insane. Alright, we'll have Lena go over there so Julian can give his waifu, uh, her staff back. I, I still think we can get axes on the next stage. So, we are good. Uh, mend, give, Lena. There we go. Now she can actually heal. Jeez! Okay, hang on. <clears throat> oh. Sire, look at this! The bandits left a shit ton of gold in the castle. Tomorrow will arrive in Aurelius. These get plenty of rest tonight. Yeah, it wasn't really a funny voice. Would you like to shave and resume? Yes. Ah, and this is where things are gonna get butt fucking nuts. We also have to pick units. So, Jagan is automatically out. That much should be obvious. We're gonna bring the Axe Boys just because they're not gonna be super useful for the rest of the game, and I at least want to give them some... some... courtesy. Drow, Gordon, Cheetah. We don't really need to bring Reese, Ogma, Esther, Julian. Yep, we're just bringing all the combat units. Fuck healers. Uh... 
After a fierce battle, Moth has set foot in Aurelius to meet the, Aure the Aurelius army. Oh yeah. The enemies protecting the fort must be defeated. From far away, the sound of horses is heard. And if I'm correct, it's not gonna be this one. But the next level... I think we get... Is this where we get Merrick or Wendell? I think we do get a unit in one of the villages in this stages, in this stage. But I know for a fact the next one's gonna give us one of the best units in the game, and also a character that makes me deeply sad, and you'll see why eventually when we get to the third game. Point is, though, that's in that's in the far off distant uh, distant future. So instead, Sheeta is just gonna go kill this guy so he can't destroy any villages. Bitch, really? Well, that was disappointing. Come on, Sheeta, you're better than this. Okay. Okay, so Abel... He... He can actually can attack that guy. Because I think he has javelins. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on, Abel. And that's it. Cord, I'm begging you. Come on, man. You're you're basically the only shot here. No, we're just fuck fuck it. Let's do it. Overkill. Oh, come on. At the very least, we have him boxed in. He can't really escape this way. Gordon can barely move at all. Uh, Caster. Caster also can't hit him, so that's great. Julian doesn't really work here, because he's not exactly a great combat unit. We'll have Marth get into position just that in case. Uh, that way he may try and attack him. So, let's look at the rest of the map real quick. Let's see. We have, a uh, we have an Axe Brigade over here. Actually, yeah, we should also probably check. Uh, we only get two thieves in the game, neither of which is this guy. So, and we already have one of them. So we... Is this where we get Roger or Mathis? Uh, that's, uh... Okay, yeah. So we get Mathis in this chapter. And that's Lena's, uh, brother. So definitely important we don't kill him. Now, well, I mean... He's really not that important. We're just trying to make sure we get everyone, and he's kind of useless, to be honest. Sorry, bud, but you're kind of expendable, comparatively. Okay, we also have to make sure we get to both villages, which shouldn't exactly be hard, especially with Sheeta. Sheeta. However, I'm used to the other... I'm used to an older version of the, uh... Translation. That's the word. I can remember words. I'm smart. Okay. We're just advan- We're not really gonna do anything super crazy. We're just gonna advance our troops, mostly. We've tried to attack this one thief. Failed horribly. So now we're just gonna advance our forces. Visit. Eh, uh, is a strong against those in heavy armor. Rider's veins are strong against those who ride horses. The rapier is effective against nice and can blah, blah, blah. Slow down, old man. Only Prince Moth is able to wield it. It really shouldn't be that hard for anyone else in the army to use a rapier, because it's just a very fine blade. It's just a very thinly bladed sword. Meant more for thrusting than anything else. So I guess the king's the only pe person in this army that can reproduce. He's the only one that knows how to fucking thrust something. Alright. That's everyone. Fuck, I've already drank my grape juice and now I'm disappointed. And grape juice is fucking delicious, by the way. Okay. Mathis, I believe, is the middle one, if I remember. I already forgot because he's quite literally that important overall. He's... He's absolutely worthless, I'm just gonna say. He's like... Probably the worst unit in this game. 
He's up there. He has, like, no redeeming factors. His growth rates are terrible. His base stats are pretty shitty. He's basically the worst Cavalier you can get in this game. And Cavalier units in this game are pretty baller. Mostly. Because you got... Three of your god-tier units in this game are Cavalier units. They will be using for the entire game. And that's Kane, Abel, and, uh... Harden, who is a character we'll see in the next chapter. That being said, every other character that's a Cavalier, and the only ones I can remember off the top of my head, are, uh... The Wolf Pack, which is Harden's personal squad. They all... Can't, they're all, like, varying levels of shit. I think Rochea is, like, slightly better than the others, but everyone else is complete garbage. And then, uh... Fuck, uh... Mathis over here. We already know how bad- I've already explained he's just damn worthless. He's completely- uh, he has no- there's nothing good about him. He just sucks. Unless you're trying to use him as a meat shield. In which case, that's probably the only thing he's good at. Even then, I don't think he'd be that good at it because his levels would be so shitty he'd die instantly the moment you tried to use him as a wall. Gordon, you hit something! Thank God! Level 4! And he got, at least a, for this game, a pretty decent uh, growth rate, so that's good. A uh, little, little, little decent spread there. Not the only thing he's ever gonna spread in his life, but that's fine, you know. Not, not for everyone. All I can remember is... <laughs> oh my god, if you haven't seen it, like, you look up right now. Stop the video and look up Fire Emblem OVA. And just Gordon. Because... My... Whenever I think of Gordon, I think of just him sh being so shitty in this game until... The anime pops back into my mind, and I remember Gorn's kind of a socio- kind of a psychopath. The man's a violent murderer. In that anime, like, he revels in killing people. Alright, so... Sita... Do we have any more thieves? Nah, we got this one guy in the corner here, and that's not really that much of a concern, because there's no bridge there. I don't think thieves can cross water, probably. I don't know, we're still gonna send Sheeta up north, just in case she can intercept that thief. Uh, Cord... Actually, no, we have to play this carefully, because we got that cavalry unit just over the river. As you probably have noticed by now, cavalry units have very good mobility, so that is kind of a danger that we need to be very, very cautious of. So until then, we're just going to slowly advance our army in a regular shield wall, I'd say. Well, not exactly a shield wall, but just a line, line formation. Or a wall. I don't know, like... Is there a difference in a line formation between a straight line and a horizontal line? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, a vertical and horizontal line. Basically, we're making a thin wall that's going to just slowly advance. That's my plan. It's a genius one, I know. Alright, board. What does this house have to say? Weapons are separated in iron, steel, and silver classes. Is that all you- is that all you had to say, man? Really? Alright. Yeah, I'll take an extra iron- actually, no. Yeah, go ahead and give me iron blades. Because we, just so you know, are not going to be ending this episode conventionally either, like the last one. Because you may see there's that little house in the center of the island. Uh, well, to the north of that little island there, but there's another thing there. That is going to be one of our best friends in this playthrough. And any Fire Emblem game, for that matter. And you're going to see why when we get there. Okay, they're going in, they're going to advance anyway, so that's pretty good. The main thing is we want to check their equipment. Two of them are boat are uh I can't remember what the technical class is called, but they're horse-mounted archers. And that's not bad necessarily cuz like I don't remember how they are generally, but 
if I remember the characters you get that are horse mount archers and how bad they suck. But yeah, these guys really are not going to be much of an issue, I'd say. Unless we get someone super low. That guy is an armor slayer, so that's a little concerning. So we want to try... We want to push Draug back a little bit. Uh, keep him towards the back of the line. Hmm. Okay, we want to try and see if we can get Kane over here to try and help with the shield wall. Uh... Uh, the Iron Sword's good. We'll instead try and push Draug up north, because that's probably going to be a little bit better. Have him uh, deal with these yacht. Never mind, they're flanking us. That's not great. Uh, I just realized that, because I'm stupid. Okay, yeah, so they're flanking us. That's really bad. And we also want to keep Sheeta towards the back, because Bowman and Pegasus Knights do not mix. Okay, Daros... I got a really bad feeling about this. Okay, well, someone's probably gonna die. That's fine. These guys ain't worth a hill of beans anyway. It's great. This is all great, you know? Okay. Ooh boy, I got a bad feeling about all of this right now. Okay, let's go. Your house means nothing. My plane gives me a 5% advantage. It's great. Luckily, Marth isn't... Marth's actually a really good unit in this game, which is good for him being the main character, because sometimes the Lord units can be real hit and miss throughout the series. Um, but Marth in this game is actually pretty decent. Daros... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Fuck! Oh, I didn't bring Lena. I don't think we can recruit Mathis with Sheeta. I don't think he's Sheeta sexual like everyone else. For some reason, he's got we 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 need a sister. That's not good though, because we didn't bring her, so we have to restart the chapter. My my brilliant tactics undone. Because I didn't bring the right fucking unit for him to talk to. Clearly. Yeah, no, Cord's about to die anyway, so that's probably a good thing. Uh, I just want to see, though. Is Cord gonna die? Oh, Cord's gonna... No! You idiot! You could have taken out... Oh, if only you had gone for, for uh, board there, or Cord, or whoever it was. You ain't gonna do anything against Marth. And one death is too much for my army. Well, how about we just brutally murder Mathis before I pause this? Just to get some catharsis out, because we will n you'll never see him again, so let's give him at least something memorable. Alright. Mathis, where are you? You're up here. Daros. Should've given you a devil axe just to make it fun. Come on, Daros. Kill! Eros, you are fucking useless. I should have left you to the Seven Seas for you to die. Alright. And Gordon once again kills another man. Well, I hope you enjoyed that bit of catharsis. Because we're gonna pull Lazarus. And we're back, so... We've got Lena, and, uh, this has been a little bit, a little, sorry, a little difficult, you know. Uh, not great. We've had to switch for tactics to make sure no one died. Great, the thief is, uh, didn't get hit by Jack. That's great. I love it. Where's Mathis? Okay, Mathis, just don't do anything stupid. I'm begging you. Okay. Now this is gonna be a little, this is a little tricky. We want to take out these two archer guys and try and keep Sita safe. Then we need to make sure we don't accidentally kill Mathis in all this confusion. So, okay. Now Cord, 
the Axe Fighters generally have a hard time in non-forested areas, I think, trying to attack, so we're gonna move him up. Hopefully this gives him an advantage. You son of a bitch! I hate you so much, you stupid asshole. Anyone with an axe in this game is... No, fuck, fuck, fuck. God, fuck! I have save states, fuck off. I don't care. Oh god, this is a... Uh. Alright, we got it, so... This isn't great, uh, Sheeta's gone, only gotten attacked once, by the way. She's fine. It's trying to deal with the other guys, because Cord is not going to be able to do that. He can't make that journey, so we're just gonna have him try and kill this guy as fast as possible. Get him, Cord! Come on, bud. You got this. He didn't kill him, but he at least got pretty good damage on him. And if I'm cool. Julian, make... Can Julian make that? No, he cannot. Daros, you useless burden. I'm counting on you. I'm trying not to use save states, but at the same time, shit gets a little dull after a while, and I got shit I gotta do. Daros, I hate you. So much. Alright, Draug. Please. Come on. Thank you. Okay, now Sheeta has a little bit more room to maneuver. That's good. And Drow got a level up. Congratulations, my son. Okay. Now to take care of these assholes. Hmm. I'm gonna be careful with Castor. Yeah. Alright, Kane. Come on. Okay, we got a good hit. First strike. And that's it. Thank you, Kane. Great. Great work you've done. Great. Okay, Cord. I hate- I- oh my god. You are the- you are all fucking useless, you know that, right? You are just completely worthless. Alright, he's not even in a forest! There, Caster, thank you for being one of the only useful people in this army. You actually killed something. Okay, Ogma. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, seven damage. It's not gonna kill him, but he's weak enough to where Gordon might be able to get him out of the way. They also need to make sure they don't try and flank and kill Lena. So, there we go. Gordon, please, please, yes, thank you. And he leveled up too, that's actually really good. Okay, now that allows, that gives uh, Lena some room to uh, be protected. Now if we can just take out these guys. Now Barst, Marth actually could probably take this guy out. Like, not really an issue, so we're just going to have him go ahead and do that. Okay, now if Mark can just hit him again, we're good. That's fine. Okay. Target's down. Marv's got some experience, that's nice and all, but more so we can now... ...maneuver Sheeta. Actually, no, Sheeta, I think, is pretty good where she is, all things considered. Let's equip her with the Silver Lance. Yeah, she probably didn't need... Yeah, that was a waste, but it's fine. At least she can... She has the equip now if they decide to try and attack her. So she has a better chance of defending herself from them. Uh, Abel, please kill this guy. I'm begging you. So you... Because that way, if, like, shit goes really bad down there... Uh, we can pull Abel back there. And... I mean, you did the best you could. I'm not gonna get mad at you over that. And we're gonna swap Barst, uh, Barst around... ...to attack this guy. 
No. Steel axe. Steel axe. Yeah, you actually got hidden. That's good. That's actually really good. I, I was expecting a lot worse than that. Um, I'm gonna do something really stupid. I'm gonna... That being said, though, that'll probably work out better. <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. Oh, wow. A whole whop and two damage. You did such a good job. And you're dead. You absolute moron. Yeah, I dropped an armor slayer. That's great for us. Now, okay, that's not bad. Now, just don't, don't, don't die. Don't crit. Don't crit. Mathis, please, please, God, please, God, God. Okay, we're good. Now, hopefully that blocks Marth off. Yes. Jesus, please. Caster. What? My healer's right next to you and you attack Caster? Brother, aren't you Mathis? It's me. Lita. No. You gotta make him like the most annoying voice possible because he sucks so bad. Lena! Nah. Lena! Why are you here? That's. I could probably do worse. The Altean, the Altean people saved me from bandits on ghouls' teeth. Why are you Why are you with the army? After you betrayed the king, Macedon's become worse and worse. I was forced into the army and was brought here. I don't like war, but it's hopeless. Sorry. Don't say that, brother. If you are not brave and won't follow the right path, Mastone will help Dollar make making people suffer. Join the Altean forces. Everyone will welcome you. They are great people. I see. If I'm about to die, I might as well look cool doing it. I can't fucking breathe. Let's stop looking after a betrayer. By the way, have you found a man you love? Uh, there's no one. Looks like there is, but I don't mind as long as it's no thief. You've got very bad. You've got a very bad bit of bad of bad news coming for your mathis. Oh god. Fucking Macedon Cal Calvary just absolute absolute brain dead. Get him. I gotta lie, I was probably expecting a little bit more from that, but it's fine, you know? Gaster. What you got? Eh. Could have done better, I guess. Hey, Julian, why don't you take a shot at him? Just for funsies. Eh. Got them tiny little legs. Fine, we got four, like, right there, and there's absolutely no way he can survive this turn. Seriously, like, look at how many guys we got around him. Ogma! Finish him, please. Thank you, buddy. Level four! Nice. Alright. Abel? I'm counting on you, buddy. Come on, show him who's boss. Save the villages. Nice. And he leveled up, too. Level three. Rip. I would have been higher level than that by now, but all right, it's only level four. Okay. All right, I'll be back in just a moment. And we're back, so. All right, let's do this. 
See, now, just have to push one final advance. And we've got it in the bag, pretty much. And then I'll show you all just why this is a very special, uh, very special level. Am I... I'm gonna be stuck on it for a little bit, to be honest. But first, let's check out what this house has going on. Visit. Here's keys for doors and bridges you can pass. Yep. Thank you, old man. Very insightful. Okay. Actually, yeah, we should probably check. Drog's fine. We'll advance him. How are you, Mathis? Mathis, yeah, you're looking a little fucked up, buddy. So you just go rest in that floor for a while. Barst, you're okay. Mostly. So we're just gonna send you over here for the time being. <clears throat> Kane, you're also pretty okay. We're just gonna send you along further. Uh, bo cord. Yeah, you're fine, mostly. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, board, you just, you just go, buddy. You just advance. All right, that's the end of that. You gonna do anything? No, you will not. I think I will skip past the enemy turns just because. Uh, yeah, that's a little. This episode's already like an like a half hour long. I need to try and cut down on that a little bit, you know, if I can. Okay. Hmm. All right, Shida. I don't remember if I've stopped by this house before, so... Gaster, what's going on here, buddy? General Bentheon owns a rider's bane. Cavaliers better not get near him. Important to know, that's good. Uh, Drow get... Actually, no, Marth can probably pierce that guy. With the rapier. He can... Thrust... Very deeply into him. And I'll probably solve the issue. Alright, let's do this. All of you can just hurry the fuck up. Alright, Abel. You, you unfortunately can't cross the river. So yeah, you just go down here, buddy. You just you just rest down there. You take a little snooze. It's it's good. Alright, we'll send Kane up and Cord. You go rest in that fort real fast. Barst, back up your buddy, just in case. We don't want anyone dying now. Oh. The Macedons have sent their Titan to attack our friend. Kane? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's bad. Okay. This is kind of a problem. Okay, Cord has a hammer. You also have a hammer, Barst. So we're just going to send Kane to try and attack this guy. I'm going to try and speed this up so that way the episode doesn't go on nearly as long. Okay. Got him. Cord. Well, first off, how far can Barst go? Bars can reach our intended target. Cord. Cord, you fucking idiot. Okay, uh, shit. Okay. Bars was actually able to do what I need him to do, so that's good. No one else is gonna is gonna be able to reach that archer, and that's a little concerning. Oh boy, this is... Uh, ain't bad, it's just a little stressful. A little, a little bad. Never mind, this is actually nothing. Well, you're dead now. Say your prayers and eat your vitamins. Last thing you'll ever do. 
And we've won. You hear the victory music, we've won. Smurf, please save this land quickly. For this, we've gathered tons of gold. Please take it. I'm never going to actually say the amount. I'm just gonna say varying degrees. Because I'm an American. I can't count. Okay. We'll be back in a sec once we've rounded everyone up. Okay, we're back. We are just going to demonstrate the last two things. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're just going to go check on what's in this village, and then I'm going to show you what that little icon is there. All right, Mart, what's up? <clears throat> it's a boy! Marth. Sorry. Marth, good to see you! Mer Merrick, is that you? I have studied magic in Kildane. I've looked for you ever since. I see. Then will you lend us your strength? Sure, I'll show you the strength of my magic, Excalibur. Uh, don't let that voice fool you. Merrick is one of the best fucking characters in this whole game, and he is an A tier, like, he is easily A to S tier in terms of units. Merrick's goaded. He can't really do much now because we don't have a shop, he can buy his equipment, so he's just gonna park it over here. And, uh, yeah, we'll just send Caster. Arena. Elder Scrolls 1. This is the arena, do you want to fight? Yes. The bed is 132 gold. Is that alright? Yes. Fight to stay alive. Alright, we got an archer with a bow gun. Fuck. Come on, caster, don't die on me, bitch. We got him. Enemy fell, caster got it. 32 experience points, and like 100 gold, which is not that valuable. Oh no, never mind, 1300 gold is a lot more valuable. So yeah, that's the arena. They pop up in maps from time to time, and they are a great way to increase the experience your army gets and the money. But don't think you're safe from the consequences of getting hit in the arena. If your character, get, if your character dies in the arena, they're dead. They're gone. Later games... Well, later games still have them die in the arena, but they at least get refreshed after a while. Not in this game. Caster's pretty badly hurt from that, and his equipment, I think, does get worn down, so we... will have to make trips down there. We have enough equipment to get pretty much everyone, minus, uh, Merrick here... ...to higher levels. The thing is, the arena grinding in this game is kind of wonky, and it doesn't feel as aren't regular RNG, it feels like there is kind of a, a balance against you. So, the boys are kind of screwed, to be honest. But, doesn't mean we ain't gonna try. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Sorry it was so long. I've been the Burlord. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye